So you can see here the field in this case is getting as high as about 0.4 Teslas right in around the coils. To verify the results that you're looking at, you can choose to do more advanced solutions with the solver. There are a variety of options available to you within the element menus. There is also a self-adaptive mode in the solver setup. But generally, the best thing to do is to simply ask for a solution refinement. At any time, you can tell the program refine the solution and what you will see is that the elements are becoming denser each time. They are not just becoming denser, they are also starting to concentrate where they are most needed. So as you progressively refine the solution, you will see, for example, in the corner here, where the field will be changing the most rapidly, the elements are getting smaller than they are in other regions. With the solution refined, we can go ahead and do some of the same processing, such as the force on the volume, and compare the result we obtained with what we had before in order to assess how stable the solution is. So, the answer has changed here from 167 to 185, or by about 10%, by doing a couple of refinements. Other plot types that you can make include line graphs and various options with contours and isosurfaces. A contour plot will enable you to see lines representing equal magnitude B fields. So here you see one display of the contours. This display is showing simply the lines themselves corresponding to the colors on the scale to the right. There are many other options that we can choose from here. We could choose to see dark black lines for very clear contrast on the contours, grey lines, which are a, a little more visually appealing. We can view as solid color bands, where each band now represents the range of field values, or we can present it as a gradient, and the gradient plot then smooths out the coarseness of the scale that you see with the bands. And now we have a smooth variation in the color displayed and we can reference individual colors with the scale to the right. We can diminish the number of divisions if we wish without affecting the quality of the plot. Finally, there is also an option to use either a linear scale or a log scale for the display. With the linear scale, you can clearly see the high field values, but you don't see the field values on the outside very much, as they tend to be simply blue. If we switch to log scale, now you can see that it, the divisions are no longer uniform, the high fields are not quite as easy to spot, but you can clearly see how strong the field is in the space surrounding the actuator as well as within the actuator.